think I might have a bit of a problem. How's it going everybody? Welcome back into another video. Hope you all are having an absolutely fan freaking tastic day we are back for another video and this is a different video one that i've actually wanted to make for a little bit now i'm very excited that i finally have the opportunity to do it so you guys know i love my physical media i love blu-rays 4k steel books video games vinyls all of that awesome stuff and people have asked me you know they have questions about physical media what do i like to get what do i buy and i thought that as someone that has been collecting physical media for a little over two years now, I thought I would make a video, sit down, and, and really give my tips, my tips and tricks on how I'm able to grow my collection, not break the bank, and get what I want, and really enjoy this collecting of physical media. So today is five tips Five. I'm only given five. My my five main tips for collecting physical media. If you like what you see, if you like Blu-ray content at all, and you are not subscribed already, I do monthly hauls. I do specialty collections. At the beginning of each year, I do my full Blu-ray collection. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We're trying to get to 700 subscribers, and we are almost there. But I think without further ado, let's just kind of get into it. So I got a list on my phone. That's why I keep looking down. I just want to see what I got. And my first tip is, I would say probably one of the most important tips. And this is one that I always tell people when people are asking me questions. The, the thing that I live by with physical media is buy what you like. I know there are people on YouTube and this is what they want to do. I got no gripe with it. Totally fine. But there are people that buy literally every single release and every edition of every release if you're balling on a budget and you can only get so many things that's not obtainable so the one tip number one major tip that i live by is buy what you like so that means when i go out to best buy when i go out to any of the stores that i usually go to i have a list of things i'm looking for I'm not going to go and blind buy everything that I haven't seen. And even further than that, if I go see a movie in the theater and then it eventually rolls out into physical media and I didn't like it, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it just because it is the new big thing that is out there. And I want you to really think, okay, I want you to really think about what you are trying to accomplish with your collection. Are you just getting the stuff that you want? Are you, like Films at Home, making a full archive of like all the movies out there? I think, go check out Films at Home if you haven't. He's got an absolutely fantastic physical media channel. Are you doing that? Or are you someone like me that is collecting what they want, what they want and what they like? So that is the number one and most important tip when you are starting your physical media collection. Buy what you you like that is like the, the thing that i say to anyone that ever asks about physical media it's buy what you like so now let's get into some of the nitty gritty we'll get into some of the things that i do when i go out and buy where i go what i look for the first main thing is local movie stores or vinyl stores a lot of, a lot of record stores sell movies as well zia records you guys know it's I, it's been in videos i've gone to zia records on blu-ray hunts these stores are absolutely fantastic when you're looking for older titles and some even specialty titles. There's a store here in Dallas. The first thing I did when I got to Dallas was Google movie stores in my area. And then I got a list and I've started to go around, see the places I like, see the places I don't like. And I've already got a movie store that I've gone to a few times that I really, really like. They're cheap, they are inexpensive. That's the same same thing, I just said the synonym for cheap. Um, and they've got really big selections and some really out of left field movies that you won't see anywhere anymore. Out of print or so expensive on eBay that you're gonna have to give over an arm and a leg to get them. 
these stores are special. Now, there is a caveat to this, and there is a risk to this. A lot of the times when you're buying a movie from the store, it's used, it's pre-owned. Someone has already owned it, and they've brought it in and sold it to the store. I've done this many times. I have flipped Blu-rays or DVDs for more Blu-rays many, many times before. I have done that personally. The one thing I will say for this, though, that you may feel a little bit better about is they have very high standards when you are trading in Blu-rays. I took in a few to the store in Dallas a few days ago, and they didn't take a few of them just due to quality. They couldn't refurbish the discs, so they have very high standards. So I know that the pre-owned use thing is kind of like, I don't really know if I want to do that, but... These stores have high standards. They do not want to sell you something that's broken, obviously, because that's how they make their money. They make their money off of selling you these Blu-rays. Movie stores, record stores, used stores are fantastic. Bookman, Zia Records, Amoeba Records in LA. They're great. So look up in your area, local movie stores, local record shops, and just see if they've got a Blu-ray selection. A lot of times, they do. And that is where I have found a really huge chunk of my Blu-ray collection is from the used stores, Goodwill, Bookmans, places like that. So look for those because you're going to find a few hidden gems. I, I would almost guarantee it. The next tip I have, and I, I kind of already said it in this last one, is flipping. It's flipping. It's it's and flipping. It, my definition of flipping is a little bit differently. I know what the real definition of flipping is. Um, I don't buy stuff and then sell it right away. What I mean by flipping is if I buy something, you know, if I get a blind buy and I watch it and I don't like it, I go back, sell it back, use that in-store credit to get something different. That's the beautiful thing about this. And also upgrading. I didn't put this in the list, but also upgrading. If you upgrade something to the next format, take that version that you have and go sell it at the used movie store because then you'll get that in-store credit and you can get even more movies. For example, I got a 4K Ultra HD copy of La La Land, my favorite movie of all time. I already had the Blu-ray with the slipcover. I'm not going to have two versions of La La Land. I've got the best version in the 4K. So I took the Blu-ray, took it to Zia. I went and sold it to them. They gave me in-store credit, and I walked out with another movie that I didn't have. So there you go. That is a really great strategy. If you've got movies that you don't like, that you don't want, go take them to the store and get something you do want. I mean, that's one of the really, really the easiest things you can do. It's very easy, very simple. You're not gonna get a lot of money back. I would say always go for the in-store credit. Don't go for the cash. I mean, that's just the thing that it is. It's you're never gonna get more cash than you do in-store credit. You're always gonna get more in-store credit. Always, always get the in-store credit because then you take it and you can get something brand new. That's what I always say. The next tip that I have is sales. Sales are fantastic. My favorite day of the year. I know I say Christmas and I love Christmas. It's one of my favorite days of the year. New Year's, one of my New Year's Day, one of my favorite days of the year. But my favorite day of the year is Black Friday. Black Friday is my absolute favorite day of the year. You know why? Blu-ray sales. Blu-ray sales, Blu-ray sales, Blu-ray sales. All the movies that you wanted that you couldn't get for $27 are now on sale for $5. It's the best day ever. I wrote down three days on my list here because they coincide with different times of the year, different types of physical media. So I'm going to lay them out for you. Black Friday. You already know what it is. One of the best days of the year. If you are a physical media collector, a Blu-ray collector, this is your day to shine. It really, truly is. I cannot understate that enough. Save up a little bit of money from your paycheck, maybe 100, 150 bucks out of your paycheck if you can. Obviously, I'm not asking you to do that if you cannot. I want to make that clear. Be smart with your purchases. Don't overextend yourself. Don't buy too much if you can't afford it. Don't do that. 
I want to make that clear. These are tips for people that want to do this and can afford to do this. I just want to make that clear. But if you can, save maybe $100, $150 out of your paycheck throughout a few months, get ready, and then on Black Friday, go absolute crazy. Because you, with $100, $150, you're going to walk out of Black Friday with maybe almost 15 to 20 movies if you really play it right, if you really do it right. Look at the ads beforehand, play out where you want to go at what time, Go to the places that have the best deals first. I have learned that Target and Best Buy are the best. Best Buy is by far the best, but then Target is also. But with the changing tide of physical media and with Best Buy neglecting physical media, that may change this year. I'm very interested to see how it goes. But Black Friday is obviously the day. Then you got Prime Day on Amazon. It happens once, maybe twice a year. I don't really know how it works. It happens at least once a year. This is the day to go online and find those deals. Cyber Monday as well. Cyber Monday as well. I didn't have that one on my list, but Cyber Monday right after Black Friday is also good. Prime Day is another example. It happens kind of in the middle of the year. And then you've got the two, this is for my Criterion people, you got the two Criterion sales that happen. One in July and one in November. 50% off your criterions. You go from $40 to $20. Absolutely crazy. Wait for those sales. Those sales are going to be really good. And that kind of coincides to my final tip I'm going to give you guys today. Be patient. Be patient. Don't run out and buy everything you want on day one because that is when it's going to be the most expensive. If you have something that you want, but you can wait, wait. Because I guarantee you, 90, I'd say 90%, uh, 85, just to be, I'll say 85%, 85% of what you want will be on sale on Black Friday. And I would say 95% of what you want, you wait a week, two weeks, will be marked down. Maybe not significantly, maybe $5, but $5 is $5. Be patient. There are certain times in certain scenarios where, yes, go pick it up day one. If you want to get a special steel book, if you want to do some pre-orders, yes, that is a good time to go on day one and pick up some films. But if you can wait, if it is not do or die, wait a week, wait two weeks, it will get marked down. I can guarantee you that. And if you want to wait even longer, wait till Black Friday or Prime Day, and it'll be to the floor. The price will be to the floor. That's all I got to say. So I'm going to run back these tips real quick for you guys. Just so you guys know. Number one, buy what you like. Don't buy everything just because everyone else is. Buy what you like or find your style. Do you want to buy everything? Do you want to keep an archive of every movie that's been released? If that's what you want to do, God bless you. I don't have the wallet to do that. Look up local movie stores and record stores for used and pre-owned Blu-rays. That's point number two. Point number three, flip. If you got movies you don't like, if you got things you don't like, go take them to the store. Flip it for inch store credit and get something different. Four sale days, Black Friday, Prime Day, Criterion Sale. Amazing days. And number five, be patient. And I'll just throw out a few stores as well that are really good for Blu-rays. Big Lots does $3 and $5 Blu-rays. The Dollar Tree, few times a year, gets shipments of Blu-rays and DVDs. I've bought, I have bought some some pretty good Blu-rays at the Dollar Tree. I bought War Dogs, a film that I actually really enjoyed at the Dollar Tree for a dollar on Blu-ray. Great deals. Walmart has some fantastic deals as well. And Target and Best Buy are fine. They are. They're really good for the new stuff. But that's about it because they are the two sections that are decreasing drastically, especially Best Buy. We all know about that already. If you're here and you know physical media, you know Best Buy has really, really just shaved back the physical media section is a shame but that's just that's the world we're living in but guys let me know down below in the comments 
What are your thoughts on physical media? Do you like physical media? Were these tips helpful? Were these tips helpful? Also, let me know down below. Do you want me to do some Blu-ray hunts? I've been thinking about doing some Blu-ray hunts. I'm not very comfortable filming in public, but I may do some Blu-ray hunts like Trevor at Film Geeks. Where I don't film a lot, but I do it in my car. Can I show you guys what I got? Um, and then let me know if you want me to do a full-on hunt slash video on Black Friday this year. I, I fully plan since since COVID. COVID has gotten better. It's not over by any means. But since it's gotten better, I fully expect for us to go back out to the stores this year on Black Friday. If you want me to do a full video kind of outlining my strategy, how I go about Black Friday, then actually going hunting and then showing you my haul, let me know down below in the comments. But guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider dropping a subscription. We are trying to get to 700 subscribers over here and we are almost there. It really would mean the absolute world. But guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully the audio was sounding nice and crisp and clean. Brand new microphone here. I'm really happy with it. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next video.